Hey guys, it's Mr. Shaw. For the next hour, see if you can pay attention to how many times you touch your nose, mouth, eyes, hair, ears, neck, or any other part of your face. It's remarkable just how many times we do it, usually without realizing it, whether it's just a scratch or resting your face in your hand. If you just wash your hands and face with warm soap and water for the right amount of time and in the right way, then it's no problem. But otherwise, whatever you had touched before that and anything that that thing touched is now in your face. This is why washing your hands regularly is so important, especially during an outbreak of a virus like COVID-19. But why is it so effective? Is it better than hand sanitizer or taking some sort of medicine? And what's the right way to do it? Hand sanitizer, as well as other antiseptics like hydrogen peroxide, they're able to kill some microbes and they can prevent the growth of others, but they don't really work against all of them. And over time, most microorganisms are eventually gonna become resistant. And it also, you, they're really only effective when used the right way, and most people don't use them the right way. And sanitizer is also a lot more effective against cell pathogens, like bacteria, and not really as much against smaller ones like viruses, which usually have a capsule around them that makes it harder for the hand sanitizer to work. In addition, a lot of people use hand sanitizer right after their hands were dirty, but didn't wash their hands. And a lot of times that means that the stuff that's on their hands, whether it's grease or oil or dirt, actually prevents the hand sanitizer from working very well. So it basically is if it did nothing. Hand washing works really differently. The soap doesn't actually kill anything. Instead, soapy water, especially warm water, is able to basically cause the pathogens to just slide off of your hands and into the drains. So they're no longer a problem. It removes all of them from the surface of the skin if you do it the right way, so there's no longer any risk through contact. The key is that you've got to do it the right way, though. So good hand washing usually lasts 20 to 30 seconds, and at least 15 seconds of that is just lathering really well with soap. You want to scrub into the knuckles and the folds of your hands to make sure that soapy mixture gets into them, especially right here around your wrist, because that's where a lot of the microbes like to hang out. After a good enough lather, then you can give it a rinse and you're done. How often you should wash your hands really depends. Um, usually before and after you eat is the most important time as well as after you use the restroom. Anytime you do something that requires you to use your hands to make a lot of contact with something like playing a video game or working in the garden, um, your phone in particular is a hotbed of bacteria if you just think about how much it's being touched, not just by you, but sometimes by other people. Um, so it's a good idea to wash your hands after using it for a long time. During an outbreak like this, it's a good idea to wash your hands at least once an hour and definitely if you ever cover your mouth while coughing or sneezing. So I'm going to show you really quickly how you wash your hands the right way. I realize many of you think you do, and maybe you don't. First of all, warm water is key. Usually it's gonna be on the left-hand side. I like to let it run a little bit just to make sure that the water is warm enough. Once my hands are wet, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of soap to not waste water. You can actually turn off the water while you lather. You wanna make sure that's a good 20 seconds. I'm gonna go a little longer. One thing you notice that I'm doing is I'm actually scrubbing into the folds and my knuckles and then also my wrist. If you've done something that really gets the contact deeper in, you may even want to rinse up onto your forearms. But for now, we'll just focus on washing our hands. Now, if you're in your own home, usually you're the only one using the tap. But sometimes if you're in a public place, you'll actually want to take a paper towel before you do any work with the handle here because other people have touched that as well. Then you'll turn it back on, rinse off that soap, and you're done. Now, when you dry off your hand, it's usually actually um, but better to use a paper towel as well. Obviously, if you've got a hand towel like this in your home, a couple of other people may have used it. So during an outbreak like this, if you have access to a paper towel, you know that it's clean and it is a little bit wasteful, but it's still a lot better for your health. That's pretty much it for me today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.